So you're looking at taking your astrophotography to the next level. Here are a few of my top tips to help you get images like this. So the question I get asked the most is, how do you get such detail and colour in your Milky Way images? And the answer is simple. Long exposure star tracking on a mirrorless camera. A star tracker enables me to capture far longer exposures than once was traditionally possible. Paired with my mirrorless camera, I am now able to capture high resolution images with incredible detail. Detail I once could have only have dreamed of. It all starts with your camera. My camera of choice is the Canon R5 full frame mirrorless. With a massive 45 megapixel sensor, it's an absolute weapon for Astro. With a native ISO range of 100 to 51,200, this camera was made for low light capture and capturing detail in the darkness is everything in astrophotography. As equally as important as your camera is the lens. Here I'm using the Canon RF 15-35, but I also use fast compact primes with an f-stop of f2.8 or lower. These lenses allow me to capture as much light as possible in the dark sky locations I find myself in. Every time I go out to shoot astro, here are the steps I take to capture my images. The first step, always begins with planning and preparation. Make sure you check the lunar cycle. The best time to shoot is around the new moon. Make sure you check the weather. If you can't see the sky, you definitely can't see the stars. I do this by checking my favorite websites and apps. These include Windy, YR, and Mountain Forecast. I have found these to be the most accurate. And last but not least, don't forget to bring snacks. The next step is location, and for me, Location is everything. Ideally, you want to turn up to your location early, before the Milky Way rises or sets. This is so you can get a lay of the land, scout your location and find that composition. I'm looking for a dark sky location with interesting foreground elements. This can be anything from mountains, lakes, rivers, anything in the foreground that I can frame against the night sky. And now for the fun part, the gear setup. This always starts with having a solid foundation, so you want a sturdy tripod, which is gonna give you the best chance to get sharp images. The next thing I do is mount my star tracker. I make sure it's balanced and aligned in preparation for twilight, where I'll do my final alignment. And last but not least, I mount my camera. Here are a few of my go-to settings, which I use almost every time I shoot. The first thing I do is set my ISO to 1600. This gives me really good noise control for my images. Then I set my lens to f2.8. I found this to produce the sharpest images. Next I set my shutter speed to 60 seconds. This works with the reduction in ISO to help produce cleaner, more detailed images. And lastly, I manually set my white balance to 4300 Kelvin. This will give you the most accurate colour for Astro. I hope these tips help you take your Astro photography to the next level. Have fun out there, and always remember, don't forget your snacks. <laughs>